Yeah. What is up, guys? So today we're actually uh, <clears throat> we're out of gas, and uh, so I'm I still want to record a video. So I'm gonna just sit here in my driveway with it on idle and pretend like I'm riding. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna talk about what I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, all right you guys yeah sorry about that i'm just kidding no i think um i'm feeling a lot better now uh, as this uh the pneumonia and whatever whatever i don't ever listen to what they say it is because i i don't like i don't subscribe to that anyways whatever it was that was going on with the health is clearing up and you know this morning i just woke up and i just felt like i have a big old smile on my face also hey um, I woke up this morning and there were quite a few really positive comments on my most recent video and I am very very grateful for that you guys um, like I said it, if somebody's trying to get into making content on like YouTube or whatever or just sharing your passions when when you just you know because people see it at all times of the day when you just wake up and and you get like a positive comment or something or just a group of them um, or whatever man i'm telling you it sets the mood for the rest of the day you guys gotta try it it's really fun um but anyways um <clears throat> today's a little goofy one i talk about this topic kind of hint at this topic all the time um throughout my <laughs> throughout my uh time here on the channel i kind of hint back and forth give examples of it the topic is meh I don't want to say it meh it makes me feel weird manifestation <laughs> it's a keyword um I do want I want to talk to you guys about my opinion on manifestation and the reason I want to do that is because there's so much junk on the internet people are selling you so much junk about it and I talk about look I've talked about manifestation before in the past. I do. And I give examples on how to use it. I do. It is a, it is a, a really cool, um, almost magical feeling way to get things done in life. To make things happen. And it is. But... I want to be real about something because it kind of dawned on me that I never really explained this and with all the junk on the internet and the courses people are selling and things like that, there's a very good chance that there's a lot of people who would see my video would understand it but understand it in the wrong way. So because we're talking about manifestation and I have to kind of do it the same way everybody else does it give me just a second while I channel in I'm gonna okay I'm channeling in Dexter um, it's uh, I gotta come up with a cool name for this guy um, I'm channeling uh, Dexter Neutron uh, Dexter Neutron's uh, fairly godmother named Plank and Plank told me uh, choo 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 um, that you know um, a normal human being wouldn't understand that unless you watch cartoons when you're younger um, so I'm the vessel here to <laughs> explain this to you okay you guys I told you I'm feeling goofy today but so um it's it's not a magical thing like I mean okay I'm not sitting here like I know the universe I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know everything but I want to take this concept of manifestation and bring it back down to earth back down to something that's tangible and understandable because there's probably a lot of people here will hear me talk about that and be like I've heard about manifestation but it just seems like some woo woo hoodoo voodoo crap um and 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 they're right because there's a lot of people who make it seem that way let me tell you why back in the day people used to sell snake oil and and they would sell it as the cure to everything 
and people would buy it and they would ingest it and they would drink it and they would smear it all over their body thinking that they're going to be manifesting a better life it was snake oil nowadays there's laws against it if somebody gets sick ingesting something that you're selling they can get in a lot of trouble so to avoid getting in trouble they sell snake oil as a mindset that you'll never understand and they don't understand it themselves snake that snake oil works for them because you're buying it is it gonna work for you probably not why because it has no ground in reality it, it's not okay they're selling you a course they're selling you a book they're selling you an idea you're buying their class you're buying their books you're buying their ideology their ideas um, and whether you're subscribing to it with your time and attention because in this world that's money or you're actually buying it with money and it's snake oil but that being said manifestation can be real and it does work for people but it's not the way they sell it when you buy a new car and say it's a red Toyota Camry because they're pretty cool looking cars the new ones now they're pretty cool looking cars I like them you buy a new red Toyota Camry and then you're driving it around for the first couple weeks and what the heck you look around and everybody's got a Toyota Camry what is this before you bought it you never saw them before now that you bought it everybody got it right hey that rhymed maybe I should be a rapper because that's about as much talent as I'm just kidding um, so when you get it when you when you invest time and you invest energy and, and, and focus on on something your subconscious takes over all of a sudden this thing has meaning to your life there is so much data and information that is bombarding our brains every second of every day sound bites photons of light yeah uh, you know there's just data so much that if we were to process all of it all the time our brains would probably explode or just short circuit and we would lose it so the subconscious has this very 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 awesome ability it's called a filter and if things are not if the subconscious does not see something as being important to you at this moment it gets filtered out you don't notice it it doesn't mean it's not there you just don't notice it because it's not important it doesn't hold any meaning and and so when you buy that car all of a sudden it's important to you because it has some sentimental value has some value to your life and so all of a sudden you see them it doesn't mean they magically appeared once you got yours and everybody's copying you it doesn't mean that they've always been there you've just filtered them out so this is how manifestation works in reality <laughs> when when you focus and you create this image and, and this drive like I, in my last video I asked you guys to to close your eyes for a while and just imagine where you want to be and all these things and then you just release it you don't stress over it you don't do anything because you know God will move things in, into place now what you're doing is you're you're adjusting your filter that's what's happening you're adjusting your filter and and i have to i really want to explain this because i don't want to be the snake oil salesman you know what i mean i want to tell you guys why it works how it works because it does work but i don't want to tell you guys in a way that you will never understand why because that's just it's just it's just taking advantage of people and i don't like that so when you sit here and and, and, and you and you and you try to learn this manifestation and stuff like that and I really hope I really hope more people see this because I was I was duped by it 
in the beginning in the beginning of my um, of my journey on trying to you know make my life better I was duped by it there is so many people out there making a lot of money with a huge platform and a lot of attention and all and a lot of fans there are so many people out there that are selling this uh, manifestation thing as as something that like you have to be worthy of and I mean that's how it works that's how the scam works and I'm not calling them scammers not all of them I just feel like they know but they're purposefully beating around the bush because as long as you don't quite understand it you'll have to keep coming back and wondering why and you know what it's weird because the introductory price to their first class is $15 the next class is $99 the next class is $250 the next class is $1,500 every time you get a little bit closer and you feel like you're just about there and they lure you in and then before you know it they've taught you this really 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 simple free concept of how your brain filters out information and it costs you only like $5,000 right so <laughs> so I don't I don't want so I didn't spend any money on the process and stuff like that but like instead of like I couldn't afford it if I could afford it I probably would have um, good thing I was paying attention that guy almost went in front of me uh, oh man I don't know I, I really want to get this out there because I want to talk about manifestation I want to talk about these things visualizing your goals writing it down giving it to God because that's the most important part if you're focused on it and you're stressed over it and and you're trying to force it you're just going to go backwards you have to you have to get this this image you have to get this idea and you have to give it to god you have to let it go and and allow because the opportunities are there every single day the opportunities you need to make the step towards where you're going are there every single day we just don't see them because we haven't created importance we haven't made it important to our life so you will I'm gonna just turn and go in a circle here I'm trying to figure out where I'm going I don't know I'm on my way to the gym but I'm riding in circles instead because this is this is real for me right now so yeah let me wrap it up here because because uh, I want to get to the gym I, I don't have a lot of time today um, so yeah the manifestation regardless of what Dexter's I can't even remember what I was saying Dexter's uh, Dexter Neutron's fairly godmother plank has to say um, regardless of who I'm channeling and and how special it makes me feel or how how weird it makes me look <laughs> all that's just satire all that's just a parody it's a joke I'm, I'm I'm not trying to be mean but I'm making fun of it because it's Oh, come on guys if you watch some of these things you, and you just think what the heck is going on there's a reason you think that okay <laughs> there's a reason you think that you got to listen to your intuition um, but the concept is real it's just sold as snake oil to because they want to take advantage of people who don't quite understand it and I'm going to come on here as the force that breaks that down. And I'm not trying to destroy anybody's livelihood or anything like that. But I just want you guys to be able to thrive in life too. And not have to spend out the rear end to make it happen. You know what I mean? Because look. Like ideas. Like there was a time in life where people would share ideas and not need to be compensated for it. It was called community. It was called growth. And and it was it's a weird thing because around those times people were happy and civilization was thriving and the economy was growing and all these things. And then no, then all of a sudden people want to start monetizing all of this baloney. And I mean I understand the business behind it because in business repeat customers are better than one-time customers right in business that's why your clothes get holds in them so easily or your hundred dollar shoes fall apart in two weeks of using them so you want to buy them and leave them in your in your uh, closet on display but never touch them because they'll fall apart and lose value or something like that that's why 
everything in a, in a car is made out of plastic these days because they want to keep you coming back and that's why everything in it's, everything's computerized now because it could be programmed to fail so that you have to get the new one that's why my old uh, note 8 or note 6 phone most of like my banking apps that I need to use uh, to do my finances I can't download them anymore because apparently my phone is not compatible is it really not compatible because it was working a month ago but no 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 they need you to keep buying new phones they need you to keep updating upgrading okay sorry I don't I don't mean to be going off the rails here but let me let me okay let me take a deep breath <sighs> okay let me wrap this up manifestation it's a real thing it works it's real but it doesn't work the way people sell it to you the way it works is when you're focusing and you're creating this image on where you want to go um, the, the real physical scientifically proven things that happen in your brain is you're allowing different information to enter into what is accepted each day in your subconscious um, of course you could be subconsciously aware of things and still never really consciously notice it because the subconscious and the conscious are very different things you know but if, if you keep tagging things <laughs> It's okay. Uh, if you keep tagging things in, in your subconscious enough, eventually, it's kind of like how the algorithm on YouTube works. Eventually, it starts to get noticed. And, and then, all of a sudden, once you notice it, you, it, it, it it's, it's weird because it feels magical. It feels like the answer was given to you by some... Um, force or something but uh, in reality it's like it's always been there it's always been there you know the person has did not just get born today at 50 years old to tell you that that answer no they've always been there and you've probably crossed paths with them many 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 times on a daily basis at work at the gym you know whatever uh, they've always been there but the the information they had or the or, or the opportunity just wasn't important to you yet so when you're doing these practices of manifestation and visualization and goal setting and vision boards writing it down and then giving letting it go what you're doing is you're creating importance and you might be saying well these things have always been important to me but have they just been important as like a hey i kind of wish i had this or have they been important as like i really need this i want this you know when you're when you're creating that image and you're and you're writing it down and you're making it so detailed and all these things and spending time on it you're saying to your subconscious mind this is this holds importance so i want to be aware of it and so that's all you're doing you're creating the awareness of these things and and then the next time a couple days later or whatever you cross paths with this person and all of a sudden it holds importance in your sub in your conscious mind in your subconscious all of a sudden click and say hey wait a minute didn't you just tell me a couple days ago that you wanted you wanted to see this or you wanted to hear this well hey it's here you know, it's been here the whole time you know it's been here the whole time but like now your your subconscious and your conscious are working together and they're saying hey this is important so pay attention you know that's all that's happening guys and then I don't want to yeah again like I just I, I the reason why I want to bring this out there is because I want to keep talking about these things because it's real it's a very real uh, process uh, in in like I don't know like say you own a business and, and you say okay I want my business to stretch out this way if, if that's all you say, you're never gonna figure it out. You have to write it down. You have to be, you have to like, I don't know, have your focus groups, discuss with people, make it important to others and make it important to yourself. 
and then the answers come and then all of a sudden you you know or you find the person that knows how to how to go down that path with your business you know it but you have to make it important so that's what you're doing you're making it important i'm at the gym now i've repeated myself about five times <laughs> i always do this i'm glad you guys appreciate it uh because i appreciate that you appreciate it the appreciation um but yeah so i'm here now so i gotta get off and, and get going so i hope you guys really uh, i hope this was meaningful and helpful to somebody if it was please let me know um i i always i i've got i i, I make videos like this all the time my whole goal i'm not asking for i'm not going to sit here and ask you guys to pay me for this information i figure if i can monetize my channel i'll get ad revenue it's good enough for me it'll pay for my gas i can get out here and keep going feel free to subscribe because there's going to be like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these and hopefully it'll help you guys reach out for what you want i want to try to share with you guys the things that i've learned but i want to do it in a way that it's not like begging you guys for money or trying to make myself a millionaire i just want to share it because like it's a journey and i think it, i don't know whatever anyways thank you guys for being here i uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day stay safe on the road and again, thank you guys for the continued support. Peace.